Welcome back to Photoshop Basics on PSD Touch Plus. I'm Martin Perhiniak and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about another great selection tool called the color range. And we are going to use this again to change the background of a photograph. I would like to get rid of the sky from this photograph and I would like to use this in the background, these mountains, to make the image a bit more interesting. So first I need to make my selection. Just like with any other selections, I would like to make a quick and rough selection, but which is close to what I would like to have at, as the final result. So I will now go to the select menu and I will choose color range. I get a dialog box where I can click on the sky or I can also click here on the image on the sky and then if you press and hold the shift key you can drag around the sky to select all the colors that make up the sky. In this little mask here in the color range panel you can see the selected parts in white and the deselected parts in black. You can change the tolerance with the fuzziness but I usually use less fuzziness, something like this. If I now click on OK, you see that we have a nice selection, but we need to turn this into a mask. So I go to my masks panel and I choose add a pixel mask. After making that, we need to invert the mask because we would like to see the church and not the sky. So I click on invert, but still we have some problems what we can easily change by going into the mask view, alt clicking on the mask, you can see that we don't want to have these areas here. So we can use quickly the brush tool with a white color and quickly get rid of these details by just simply drawing over them. I just use a hard edge brush and quickly draw over these parts because again white shows black hides we don't want to see these little back spots on the foreground and the church so I quickly get rid of them these are the highlights in the image which are close in colors to the sky that's why we had these problems but as you can see we have a very nice selection here on the top with the steeple and we also have a nice selection around the leaves here on the right. If I now alt click on the mask, we can get back to the normal view. And now I will put the, the other image in the background. So I use arrange documents and I will use my move tool to move the mountains on top of this image. I close the other image and then I only need to move in the layers panel the image behind the church. Now I can use my move tool to decide how high I would like to have these mountains to be, something like this. And then we can start refining the selection even more. First I zoom closer to the steeple and I see it's a really nice selection there. We can check the roof, very nice selection there as well. I have some problems here on the left. I don't want to see these buildings because it's just not good in perspective. So I will select the mask. I will use my brush tool with a black color and I just simply draw over these quickly, something like this. I also check the other side. The roof is nice, but the leaves here are a bit blue which is a technical problem with digital cameras is called chromatic aberration I would like to get rid of this and the best way to do it is to use the mask edge after you've selected the mask go to your masks panel and choose mask edge to get the refine mask options first I will choose the decontaminate colors option and I will increase that value to get rid of that color cast here but I will also use shift edge to get something like this maybe even use the feather option just a little bit I increase it with 0 0.2 like this so now I can click on OK oh actually let's check it before and after much better we can click on OK and now all the edges are perfect and we have a really nice selection 
And of course, we can still move the background, the mountains, to find the best location for them. In the next tutorial, I will talk about merging images together in Photoshop to create panoramic images, montages or group photographs. Thanks a lot for your attention. I hope you enjoyed this one and see you next time.